Hi guys, Zukuru here and I'm back for some Calus Invitational 5 narration. Uh, I am bringing to you a series between uh, Altina and Mike Moore. Um, the It is a top 8 series and the winner is gonna go to top 6 and the loser will be out of the tournament since this is a lower bracket uh, match. So yeah, we'll get right into it. Uh, there is a little summary for Alcina and Lead Tyrant of Magmare. Uh, not respecting the Fire Blast and uh, going right away for the for the second spike. Okay, there will be a spin from Magmare right away, and there will be a buff spike up. Uh, now there will be Gengar coming, protecting the layer of spike, but spike will be clicked again, and therefore there will be two spikes to one, and no Tyrant will uh, come to try to trap this Gengar. Hopefully, uh, there is. Yeah, it seems to be a uh, Duxio in the back since Altina switched out. And uh, that th Tyranitar is pretty much dead. Uh, now, I would like to will take advantage of that uh, Duxio and Scamory will uh, come on the rock slide. Scamory will probably get out right away. Now, there will be Protect before that. And now Swamp, uh, Fortress will get the third layer, it seems, yeah. And will Scamory stay again to click a... Yeah, Scamory just wants that Fortress to go down and there will be HP5 trying to catch the Gengar. But yeah, Scamory just stayed and now Cladol will come on the second HP Fire and reset the spy count. So Magmar lost a Pokemon where Gengar is still somewhat alive. Uh, Doctor is still alive to trap something, and the spikes count were resetted. So I'd say Altina has kind of the advantage here, especially um, with that uh, Suicun, uh, defensive Suicun, which is one of the best corner to uh, Swampert in the game, especially Focus Punch Swampert, which is hard to beat for. Uh, the structure uh, Altina uses. If he didn't have, um, if he didn't have a Swigon specifically to beat it or Myrotic, it would have been uh, in great trouble. Like even something like defensive Stormy or defensive Swampert may have trouble dealing with that. But yeah, as we saw, Cladol, the pure water uh, as backup was uh, pretty. Um, predictable, but anyways, there is a very threatening Blessy with Flamethrower uh, killing the forest. As hopefully, there is a Duxro in the back to to just kill it. But there will be a burn from Flamethrower, which means that the Blessy is has a good shot at uh, clicking a lot of softballs to get high in HP and not, not, not die. Therefore, uh, it will be really hard to Mr. Magmare to win the game because to win the game you would need to kill this Blissey. But yeah, as you can see, uh, this Blissey is tough to kill now. Um, I would actually is gonna come to do some damage, but yeah, there is Cladol who will just deal it the last, the last, the last spike, and Swaycom plus. Cladol will probably just win the game. Oh, there, that is a lot of flinches in a row. Um, will he decide to spin? Yeah, he will decide to spin anyway and probably sack the Gengar. Okay, I kind of agree with that. Um, Skarmory is gonna come straight and toxic. There will be products first, and Mike May doesn't want to respect the toxic possibility. And just try to get a flinch, and the flinch won't be done, but there will be a miss toxic, which is essentially the same thing. Uh, Blissey is gonna come down on the field, and there will be product on the softball turn. Um, I don't know if I agree with that, but you gotta respect the fire move and the T wave. Blissey is gonna come down from Artinas 2, that Blissey should be dead, and now. Uh, it's toxic is gonna be really annoying. Oh, it's not gonna toxic right away. It's gonna fix off bolt first, and now it will risk a rock slide flinch. 
Oh, there will be soft boiled. Okay. I don't know if I agree with that. Okay, he's desperate to come on a rock slide and he just wants to waste Nickmare peepees. Um, yeah, I cannot stun the play. Uh, that Brissy probably didn't have Toxic. Or Altina didn't want to risk. Oh, okay, the Suicune is really low on health. So that makes sense. Uh, was there a double toxic here? Absolutely not. Now, um, Suicune gotta come after the product, maybe. But yeah, you probably double your Aerodactyl here trying to get. Oh, there is toxic trying to catch the arrow. And knowing that Surf doesn't do a lot, there will be a product again now. And that Scamory looks pretty. pretty. Pretty good in face of what Magmar has. Um, just gotta be careful of the Aerodactyl still because, yeah, he, this Camry is dangerously low on else, just barely um, below 50%. Doctor is gonna come on the softball, uh, trying to get this Blissey out of the way for the Camry to be able to win alone. Sadly, there is. A powerful ice beam that will just kill the the trio and now will there be a boom okay there will be a boom killing the blessy um I think I would have tried to sack Swampert on the boom but yeah for some reason that wasn't done um but this Aerodactyl oh oh how oh, many PP oh okay so if it kills Suicune there is no more rock slides and Scamory should win alone. Okay, so that's a great play from Mr. Altina here. Uh, okay, going. Oh, okay, he, he caught it better, and Second can even survive the rock slide left. Uh, he still says two rock slides, so yeah, that is the messy Pokemon Children interface, but yeah, that Aerodactyl doesn't have any rock slide left, and Therefore, um, the Scarmory should be able uh, to win alone, unless there is something like a Rest Swampert, but it doesn't seem like it is the case, and if it was the case, Suicune could probably heal. Uh, okay, there will be the Suicune sacrifice in order to heal the Scarm and Prodex to, or yeah, dwell back to, to kill the Swampert. I know there will be products putting the the move. Yeah, that, that just will be double edge and toxic will give the game to Mr. Uh, Altina. Altina. Um. Yeah, just gonna be product, will pack product, will pack product, will pack, and Altina will get away with the first game, having some lucky streak on. The Blissey burning the the trio and yeah, but Mike Mer had a lot of rocks like fringe. Ah, I think it was a good game. Uh, oh, he created the fortress too. So yeah, that's a bit unlucky for uh, Mr. Mike Mer, But yeah, uh, overall, Altina played well. He was rewarded by the burn, but yeah. All around, that was a pretty cool game, in my opinion. Um, we can see how, how deadly uh, Blissey can be. So we'll get to game 2, and there is a Lee Jinx versus uh, Lee Tyranita. Will there be a Lovely Kiss right away? Yeah, there will be a Lovely Kiss right away. Not respecting a Lumberry. Um, oh, it looks like it is a fifth, uh, a fifth Jinx. That's interesting. So there will be... Multiple Ice Beam and no Wake Up. GRG is gonna come down on the Ice Beam. And those Jinx outspeed to steal the leftover. Oh, there will be HP Fire. Um, not clicking the Sif. Okay, that's interesting. There will be a Taunt. Oh, is it? Is it a Berry? No Berry. Um... Oh, is it never melting ice? Maybe that's maybe that's never melting icy jinx. 
anyone that's very interesting uh, there will be the T-Ball Zapdos um, there is probably a the trio in the back so oh there will be substitutes predicting the wish or call mind or whatever and now there will probably be a button pass on the duck trio since uh, Zapdos came trying to prevent the duck trio to come down and be a kill but on the Gengar uh, which will miss Will-O-Wisp on the wall which is pretty unlucky and now that's a good matchup for Mikmer who will be able to click a Thunderbolt that will do a lot of damage and will actually 2 HKO this Zapdos with the help of Send so he has to get out of here He won't, and he will have a pretty good ho a pretty good ho roll, uh, which means that oh, nice read. Well, not specifically a read since the Zapdos was about to get down, but yeah, that does a lot of damage to Gengar. And now there is Nightshade Gengar. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we've seen a lot of Nightshade Gengar this tournament, but um, I I'm still pretty unaware of what it is supposed to do. I assume this is a move to catch a lot of uh, Pokemon at the same time, being Jirachi, Tarwanitar, and also Pokemon that are supposed to come on Gengar, which is interesting on a Stallbreaker set. Also uh, allowing you to uh, 4 HKO um, a lot of Tarwanitar helps you with not being trapped and also forces a lot of Pokemon into a uh, Ducktrio range namely Tyranitar, Starmie and uh, Jirachi which the three are on my camera's team also it probably does comparable damage to stuff like Heracross uh, comparable to Ice Punch or T-Bolt I, I would say maybe a bit less, but that's uh, yeah, that's an interesting move. I should look more into it later. Uh, anyway, we get some Jirachi action with only the opposing Jirachi to oppose it. But it seems that it it seems that is it is a defensive Jirachi with Wish, Toxic, and Ice a Fire Punch, which is not good versus um, Cold Mind Jirachi. So yeah, it seems like uh, Alcina's Jirachi will get out with the game or maybe even that Suicune and uh, there will be coal mine there will be toxic at least there was no sub for uh, the Suicune which would have run away with the game right away um, will there be another uh, coal mine here no there will be a pump just not trying to mess around and um, anyway this uh, GRC is gonna set up one day. Okay, the Zapdos will be sacked. Uh, on the pump miss. Okay, so maybe he will. It will act. Maybe that's a bit better for Altina even since the Sukun will die, and there will be. Oh, there will be Dogs for coming down because Zapdos is gonna die to the toxic, right? No, it won't. So okay, just wanted to kill the Zapdos to be sure. We'll just sack the Dogs on and the GRC and set up its own GRC just not trying the devil and getting maybe two waves on the call mine or whatever just going straight into into winning the game um also um starmy doesn't want to take hp book from the duck trio even if it's bulky um yeah uh, uh, yeah if it was turn the wave starmy well starmy just lets jersey setting up anyway and there is a sub too, which won't be broken by the fire punch, uh, at least in one hit. So, yeah, it seems that uh, the Jirachi is gonna end the game uh, as we speak. Just uh, waiting confirmation from uh, the, repl the replay. We're gonna see that together and. I think that after that, um, I will have to advertise from uh, for uh, the top a uh, uh, the top six of the tournament, uh, in which uh, Altina will have its place. Um, we'll just wait um, some more turns to be uh, sure of that. But 
Yep, it seems that Mr. Magmer will be uh, eliminated from Kalos Intentional 5 and that Altina uh, will be our top 6 competitor. Um, so, yep, that Starmie will die to Thunderbolt. And um, yeah, subscribe to the Kalos channel for. Uh, more uh, videos like this uh, leave a positive sum and yeah just um, we'll get right back for uh, another uh, Carlos Intentional 5 game but for the moment uh, I'm gonna say goodbye see ya